it's Adriana here from Addo Lab, and today we're going to talk about evergreen content. Now, evergreen content is a great way to get customers to your store all year round. It's an amazing content strategy. I'm going to give you a ton of tips, and you can apply these to your actual website. And it's an amazing way to rank higher on Google and to also increase your traffic. Let's get into it. All right. So one of the biggest problems on Google. Is how do you rank? How do you start showing in search results? And this is especially true with writing articles for your website on your blog. So there are millions of articles published every day. How do you stand out? How do you get Google to notice you over all the other millions of articles getting pushed out into the internet world? And so one of the best ways to do this is with evergreen content. And evergreen content are articles that are interesting forever. They're timeless pieces. They offer really helpful information that people are searching for all the time. They don't go out of season. They don't go out of style. And they are not temporary articles. They're articles that are going to remain on your website and be a resource for your customers and people searching for these topics all year round. And these are really great. Because they offer assistance and help to people searching for a topic, and then you're offering them a lot of really valuable, high-quality information that is going to answer their questions. An evergreen article is an article that is really in depth and very thorough. Think about it as going really deep into a certain topic. It's normally very long format. It has a lot of imagery. It can have a lot of links going to outside resources that are relevant. And it can also have a very、uh, nice video included that is relevant to the topic. So for an evergreen article, it's really all about content quality. So instead of quantity, just dishing out articles one after another that are kind of short and they're okay, this is the opposite. This is spending a long time on an article that's going to be a resource and is going to be searched for all the time on Google. So evergreen content gets its name from the word evergreen, which comes from plants that never lose their leaves. They're plants that remain green all year round. And so evergreen content is a content strategy because people are searching for these topics all year round. So why is evergreen content important? Evergreen content is really important because it's actually a Google algorithm factor. So Google can tell if you're writing evergreen content usually based on the amount of words in the article, and then this can help you get boosted up in ranking. And so another reason that evergreen content is really important for your ranking is because it actually can give you consistent traffic. If people are searching for these articles all the time, all year round, then this is a great way to have consistent spike in traffic instead of just a temporary spike. A temporary spike in traffic might be for a very, you know, trending topic. Maybe you have a website and you're talking about celebrity gossip that's here today but gone tomorrow. All right, so now we're going to talk about how to create. Evergreen content. All right, great question. So I'm going to give you some ideas, and we're going to talk about each one to kind of get the wheels turning in your mind. So one of the best ways to create evergreen content is to create a beginner's guide. Now, beginner's guide are pretty sometimes hard for people to write because it's easier to write advanced tutorials if you know the person already has some knowledge about what they're getting into, and so a lot of people neglect beginner's guides. But beginners' guides are one of the most popular and sought-after resources on the internet. If you don't know much about a topic, you're gonna write topic plus beginners' guide and try and look for more information. So if you have knowledge about a topic, it's really worth the effort to create a beginners' guide for your customers and to explain how to do something, give them direction, and give them guidance on a topic so that they can learn more. And this is kind of a beginner's guide to evergreen content, so this is a great example of how to create something like that. So in a beginner's guide, you might have a website that sells creams for wrinkles and facial cleansers, all that sort of stuff. So you could create a guide for which cream is the best for my skin type, and then you could go through and offer different creams. For different skin types, and explain why this one would benefit you, and why this one would suit you, and then the person on the other end of the computer can look at this and decide for themselves which cream 
works for them the best. And they can see you as a resource because you're not just telling them buy this cream. You're saying these are different creams and they have different benefits. You can choose which one is best for you. And I would definitely include a video that explains all of this as well because having rich content like a video looks very good to Google and they love that sort of thing. And it really helps with ranking. If your article contains rich content like a video or if you have infographics and lots of imagery, this is great because it keeps people interested and reading and scrolling and you want people to stay on this article as long as possible. The next one is create a how-to guide. Most people are looking for how to do, you know, fill in the blank on the internet and you can be the person that answers that question. And the best way to go about this is to write a huge in-depth article that explains every nook and cranny of this topic so that they don't go hit the back button and look for a different how-to article and that they choose yours as their resource. And so this is a really great way to provide assistance or help to a customer and position yourself as an expert in this field so that develops trust and maybe they'll go to your website and purchase something or sign up for your newsletter and become a loyal fan of your company. All right, so how would you write a how-to guide if you have an online store? So an example would be if I had a hardware store and I could explain how to fix a leaky faucet. I could do this very in depth with lots of images with step-by-step -step ways of how to fix a leaky faucet. I can also recommend different plumbing tools and pipes that you might need to get this job done. And then at the end, I would include a very informative video with you know, describing the whole process, showing how it gets done. And this is great because you can promote your company while answering a question people have. Another way to create evergreen content is to create a best product guide. You can create a roundup of all the best products on a certain topic, and then let your customer choose which one suits their needs the best. This is a great approach because you're not blatantly, you know, pushing one product in front of them. And this way they have choices and options and they can choose which one they like the most. If you do want to promote a single product, this can be done with some finesse. And the way to do this, I would say, is to offer all the benefits on this product that applies to this person and also to maybe include some testimonials and experts into your article so that people can see that there's some validity and clout to this product and then they can decide for themselves whether or not they want to buy this product. Let me give you an example of how to write a best product guide. So let's suppose I have an online jewelry store business and I want to target people that are having anniversaries. So I can create best gifts for her for the first year anniversary. Now this is a topic that people are gonna be searching for all year round. It's something that people are always interested in. It's timeless. So this is perfect. You can do a roundup of different products that people might be interested in and offer different choices. And you can also include a video showcasing these different products and why each one might be the best gift for that first year anniversary to make a great impression on her. Another way to create evergreen content is to create an advanced tutorial. So there was the beginner's tutorial and now we're talking about advanced tutorials. So there is a range of knowledge and you wanna be able to capture both sides of it. So you wanna be able to capture the people that are just starting out and then the people that are looking for more advanced topics. So if you have a very you know, in-depth knowledge of a topic and you're able to write an advanced tutorial, this is great because you can capture a different market, a different audience or demographic that is searching for this. And if you can position yourself again as an expert in this field, that's amazing because then you can also go on to promote your company and products in this article as well. Let me give you an example of an advanced tutorial. So let's suppose I have an online business where I sell replacement parts for coffee grinders. Very niche, but definitely exists and can be a lucrative business. All right, so I have an advanced tutorial with a step-by-step -step instructional guide on how to replace this part on a coffee grinder. So this audience already knows how to use the coffee grinder. They're well-equipped on all of this. So this is more advanced and it's kind of a blend of a how-to and an advanced tutorial. Definitely a great 
long tail approach to writing an evergreen content article. And you can include a video which shows the step-by-step -step process. And this is great because you're providing an answer or a solution to someone's question. Another form of evergreen content is interviewing experts. All right, so you're wondering, how do I interview experts? I don't know them. All right, great question. So if you're just starting out, no one's gonna want to interview you, correct? Because they don't know who you are and you haven't developed a reputation yet. So the best way to do this is to ask experts if you can interview them. And you'll be surprised how many people actually will say yes to you because people do enjoy speaking about themselves and their company and it's a great way for them to promote themselves. Now, the reason why you would wanna interview experts in your industry or your niche is because associating with experts somehow makes you an expert as well. There is some sort of psychological effect when people see you in an interview, especially like a Skype interview and they see your face next to theirs, they're gonna say, wow, I didn't know that you know, Jane Doe actually knows, you know, John Doe. That's amazing. I should buy something for them from their company. I should, you know, become a loyal fan. This is really great. And so it kind of positions you as an expert in your industry as well. Let's say we have an online business that sells eco-friendly purses. Well, I would contact the companies that I sell, you know, their bags, and I would contact the founder or the designer, and I would say, hey, can I please interview you for 10 minutes or less of your time? I have these questions about your company. I would like to hear about your process. I would like to hear about your inspiration and you know the new lines of, bat of purses that you're gonna be creating. And this is great, valuable content. You get that Skype interview. You can also translate what uh, you guys are saying into the article, which is great because in the video, uh, you have rich content and then in the article, if you translate what is being said in the video, this is great because it's searchable by Google. Anything that you have in the article is going to be searchable by Google and can help you with ranking. So this is another great example of how to position yourself as an expert and get videos on your articles and have this amazing long format, helpful resources that people are going to be looking for all the time. Another form of evergreen content is creating an ultimate checklist. Now this is great because people are always trying to figure out what do they need before doing X, Y, and Z. And if you can provide this for them and give them some guidance, they're gonna be very thankful to you that you are able to do this for them. And this is great because you can have a checklist in sequential order and you can also offer product recommendations as well. So an example of this is let's say we have an online store that sells outdoor gear. Well, I could create a checklist for everything you need to bring with you on a Himalayan trekking trip. Now, this is really specific and people search for this all year round. So this is a great way to offer some help and assistance to your potential customers while also promoting some of your products in this checklist. And also, I would definitely recommend always including a video along with it and you can show the gear that they should bring and kind of do some insightful, you know, you should bring this because of that. And this gear looks like this. It can pack really neatly into your backpack and it's great, you know, X, Y, and Z. So you get the idea. An ultimate checklist is the best way to get people to come to your website and offer them some assistance when they need it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on evergreen content and that you'll apply these tips and strategies to your own website so you can gain some organic traffic. It really works and it's a great way to get people on your site. And if you'd like more inspiration, I have a lot more tips on our website. We actually have an evergreen content article that has lots and lots of more information that'll help you out. So I'll put a link down below for that in case you're interested. Thanks so much for watching guys. Make sure to give us a like and also subscribe so you don't miss any other SEO tutorials. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.